Hey, welcome to the Film Pigs on Geek Nation, the only show about the movies on the internet that dares to ask hard-hitting questions like, Hey, how come they never made a sequel to Ice Pirates? Oh. That movie was delightful. Ice Pirates 2. Here's more ice. Yeah, and pirates. I would watch that. They should do it right away. Uh, I'm your host this episode, Todd Anderson. This is my fellow film pig, Steve Skelton. Hello. Our other film pig guy, who's also named Steve, Steve Falk, is not here. He's working on a TV show that pays him Boku bucks. We, we don't pay him anything here. So, But maybe we'll hear from him later. We'll see. We'll see what's up. But we got a very special guest this episode. This is John Anderson. Wait, what? Yeah, he's my brother. Oh. It's nepotism. <laughs> I gave him a spot on a show that we don't pay people to do. I'm, Pick- I'm only the third family member to appear <laughs> on the show. He's only the third family member to be on the show. And he's a uh, public defender in Washington, D.C., making him the very first actual lawyer True. we've ever had on the show. Yeah. We've had people who've played lawyers lots of times, mm-hmm. but never an actual lawyer. So lucky you. That means it's time for clinking popcorn. Oh, popcorn. Mm. Oh, clinky, clinky. Mm. 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 Oh, 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 oh. Mm. 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 Delish. Um, let's start the show like we always do. Okay. Okay. It's uh, we we did this segment on the show to, yeah. to start things rolling. Yeah, I know. Uh, called uh, Rash Judgments, mm-hmm. and in Rash Judgments, what we do is we talk about the movies that yeah. are coming out this weekend in the movie theater, and we help you, the viewer, decide which one you should go see. Now, have we seen the movies? No. No, because we're not invited to see screenings or get screeners in the mail, and nobody really wants our opinions about the movies in the industry. But people outside the industry, the regular person, Mm -hmm. the little people, like you. The everyman. The everyman. You want to hear every us. Every person. Every and, person. And every person wants to hear our opinions because we're geniuses. Do we need an education to have an opinion on the internet? Clearly not. No. It's the goddamn internet. Amen. Steve, Steve Skelton, give us a rash. Hey, guys. Uh, my rash judgment is for a movie called Dope. It's a coming-of-age story of a uh, high school kid in inner-city Los Angeles who's a really good student, and he's trying to get into college and get out and make something of his life, and he goes to a party. Does he sell dope? And no, he doesn't. He Is goes he to a dope? party. No, he goes to a party, and he ends up through a series of wacky circumstances with a, a backpack uh, full of dope oh. and a gun. What kind of dope? I think it's do- dope dope. Just dope? Just dope. Straight dope. Straight dope. And it so, sounds like the standard wacky circumstance. Yeah, so <laughs> it's... <laughs> so then there's... <laughs> That's at the front. Series. <laughs> <laughs> it's a... Uh, Your Honor? Your Honor? Uh, these Your, were wacky circumstances. Yeah. Oh, no. Your Honor, it's, instructions it's a it. classic totally coming-of-age tale, Your Honor. Uh, <laughs> wasn't there already a movie called Dope? I probably, but uh, this uh, this uh, this movie got a lot of buzz at Sundance, I believe, and then had a little bit of a bidding war for distribution, and now it's being distributed. Uh, and so, yeah, it looks. I mean, uh, on the one hand, it looks interesting to me because it's this kind of classic Hollywood coming of age like teenager story that sure. you normally see nothing but white kids uh-huh. in, and this is like a really kind of diverse cast and interesting setup. It's like a Fast and the Furious yeah. movie without cars or entertainment. So when but, they decide to do a coming of Coming of age movie, they make it. They include a diverse cast. Yeah. If there's drugs involved, well, yeah. yeah. But so yeah, that's the other side of it. Is that it seems like the setup feels a little contrived, and it all the trailer kind of looks like it might almost be hewing too close to the formula. So it it, it looks a little weird. I kinda, I'm probably not gonna see it in the theater. I'll probably you know uh, check it out later. Mm. Uh, but so. No, I get you. I know, get you. you know, so that's kind of, it sounds like a rental type of situation. To me, yeah. yeah. Rental type of situation. Um, our missing uh, film pig, Steve Falk, uh, has a rash judgment oh. for us. I'm, I'm very excited about that because he's very busy. He doesn't have a lot of time, but he manages to make the time to send in rash judgments. We have a special film pig's screening room that we like to go to to watch Steve Falk's Rash judgment. So uh, why don't we uh, why don't yeah. we head over there, fellas? No, we totally Can I bring my popcorn? Yeah, yeah, bring the popcorn. Right. Had this screening room built special. We should use yeah. it. Hey, everybody! My rash judgment is for a movie called Manglehorn. No, it's not a crazy uh, horror movie. It's a uh, uh, little indie, twee little indie uh, by uh, David Gordon Green, who's done some good movies, and it stars Al Pacino, who's done some good movies. 
lately? I don't, not really. Uh, he's in a lot of movies lately. This one is about a dude who keeps talking to some chick named Clara, who I don't know is dead, maybe, and um, uh, uh, some little girls in it, and there's a fluffy white cat, and there's Holly Hunter and Chris Messina, and I guess Har Harmony Corinne's in it, even though I didn't see him in the trailer. I, I didn't know he acted. Um, I, I don't really know what it's about. It looks magical, and uh, I mean, you know, not in a great way, and uh, confusing, and I m may rent it. That's about all I would do for that movie, Manglehorn. Such an asshole. <laughs> Falk is not an asshole. I don't know what you're saying, Matt. He just has an opinion about Al Pacino oh, yeah. and his movies. Just fix that. <laughs> um, thanks, Steve. That was great. I loved it. He had a problem with it, obviously. Well, um, yeah. You know, but you guess, know, guess is always right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess so. And everybody's got subjective opinions about subjective mm -hmm. opinions about subject. It's an endless, endless, endless nightmare. Uh, John Anderson professional public defender from Washington, D.C., what is your rash judgment for? Well, before I start with my rash judgment, I just want to say a few things. Um, <laughs> first, this is like a, what do they call that, an opening, opening statement. statement? This is opening statement. Not really, it's called a disclaimer. A disclaimer. Um, <laughs> first, I just want to say that nothing uh, that I say now should be construed as advice. Mm -hmm. Um, <clears throat> nothing can be held against me in a court of law, and nothing that I say should be considered to be my actual thoughts or beliefs. <laughs> <clears throat> and I do want to just thank the, uh, the corporate suits at Geek Nation for inviting me to come. It actually wasn't my brother Todd. So corporate suits, apparently they were trying to get more uh, middle-aged bald men on the show. They asked me to come yeah, down. Yeah, there really aren't enough on this yeah, show. Yeah, it's, you know. I keep putting notes in the suggestion box. <laughs> trying, to try, trying to drive up, you know, the young viewers. Uh, so that's why they asked me on. Just Kids love middle-aged bald, bald dudes. Guys. Just, they can't get enough. <laughs> so, so here I am. Uh, thank you to Geek Nation. Um, <clears throat> my rash judgment is for a film called Inside Out. Inside Out is about a young girl who... <laughs> I guess eats the wrong thing, um, starts feeling not that good. Um, it's As animated. young girls often do. There's a lot of animated puking. Oh. Um, no, wait, I'm sorry, that's not right. Uh, oh. So the cast, it's Pixar. Oh, you I was on board for a second. Like, yeah. That sounded good. I it thought was it was like going to be like a horror movie, movie <laughs> where then she like turns inside out. Right, and inside out. Cable. Right? That's what I, well, that's what I thought. That's my mm. pitch. Anyway. <laughs> like in the fly when he yeah, goes yeah. to the, he sends the dog or monkey or whatever it is right. to the transporter. That's what I thought. Yeah, you know, when you have a kid, they spend yeah. a lot of time inside out. Yeah, sure. Um, no, actually, it's a, it's a Pixar movie. People apparently really like those. Uh, it's got... Um, you don't like Pixar movies? I, yeah, I, yeah, whatever. You don't like The Incredibles? <laughs> uh, sorry. <laughs> oh, wow. I liked that, the, I liked The Up, but um, it kind of... It's just makes, Up, it's not The Up. Yeah, The Up. It makes you cry. <laughs> Who wants to cry and live without it? Enough crying in life. Um, so anyways... How often do you cry? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Well, you said there's enough the crying in life. It sounds right. like you're crying. I don't. A lot. It's not like I. Should we call? Mom I don't do sit you, down. Do you need to call mom and dad? I, <laughs> I don't know how much I, I cry because I sleep crap. I don't sit down and open remember. up the newspaper and and think what movie is going to make me cry. <laughs> let me let me call the babysitter because I want to go out and have a good cry at the movie theater. <laughs> It's not my thing. I don't know. It's That's obviously cool. other That's people cool. do that. It was a good movie. I'm not. I'm not saying it wasn't good. It just, you know, it's cry thing. Um, anyway, this movie Inside Out. Uh, it's animated. It's about people, but apparently, from what I saw in the preview, it's people. But you see that there's like kind of Muppets inside their head that represent the different emotions. You know, there's the joy. Are they animated uh, or are they actual they're, puppets? They're animated Muppets or whatever. Well, puppets. No, 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 Muppets. I can't say Muppets like that's. I packed. guess they animated those there's, Muppet ki babies. That was animated. I see what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, and I probably violated well, yeah, some copyright let's laws keep, by let's calling keep them down Muppets. The sale of the animated Muppets, Todd. Go anyway, ahead. puppet. The, it, the whole the idea is they could, probably could have done it for a lot less money with actual actors. <laughs> And 
people doing puppets. But they didn't do that. They went with the really fancy animation, and you sit there and you watch it, and you're like, wow, that looks like a real person. I could have watched a movie with a real person. Um, <laughs> and a Muppet. But they didn't do that. They went, they did the Pixar thing. It looks great. Um, people are going to love it. They're going to be amazed at how real the people look. Um, and the emotions are played by this star-studded cast. Um, Amy Poehler of their recently canceled Parks and Recreation is in it. Uh, Mindy Kaling of the recently canceled uh, Mindy Project. Well, that got picked up on Hulu. Hulu now. Oh, on Hulu. Yeah, internet show. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, we're you know we're an internet show. <laughs> Is that right? I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> Mindy so Kaling would distinct. never do this. <laughs> Yeah, come on the show, so Mindy. Dis- before we so promote, disdainful of internet Before we shows. promote your show on Hulu, uh, come on this show. You hate Hulu. Um, uh, no offense to Hulu. Again, <laughs> nothing I say relates to anything that reflects reality. Um, where, what was I? I was talking about the cast. Louis Black, he's, he's usually pretty funny. Um, in a like spazzy, angry sort of way. Right, in an angry way when he really lets loose, which is the kind of thing that they're going to let him do in a Pixar PG movie. <laughs> um, so I watched the, I was asked to watch the, uh, the trailer, and I watched it, and it's like two minutes long. It took a lot of my time. Didn't look funny to me. Um, I have a young, uh, a young kid who doesn't like movies. Um, so the fact that it didn't That's look... That's a money saver. It didn't, look, <laughs> it didn't look funny. My kid doesn't like movies. Not going to see it. Yeah, but the kid loves Fabergé eggs. <laughs> she actually does. Hates movies, yeah. wants, but wants Fabergé eggs. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do? Well, uh, there you have it. Uh, the first ever completely negative reaction to a Pixar movie He's like the, on record. The one person on earth who hates Pixar movies. <laughs> He's fucking Scrooge. <laughs> <laughs> he hates Hulu. <laughs> he hates Mindy Kaling. He hates Parks and Rec. He, he hates, hates internet uh, he shows. He hates internet shows. He hates the fact that he's here. <laughs> I'm really, I'm a positive guy. I'm much more positive than my brother, in fact. <laughs> it's just this one thing. This thing. <laughs> <laughs> that sent him off on a tizzy. Uh, that's Rash Judgments. Thank you, everybody. They were very uh, wonderful. Uh, now uh, it's time, because this, he's a real lawyer. Mm-hmm. I can't emphasize that enough. And there, he went to school. He went to school. He has, what, what do they call it, a law degree? He Alleg- got it at the... What, yeah, what's the legal the, term for uh, it? What's the legal term for it? Allegedly, it's, it's a law degree. Allegedly, he got a law degree at NYU. Uh, he had to take, in order to get into NYU, he had to take something called a, uh, was it an ERB test? <laughs> That's right. A lawyer it ERB? Was a, um, right. Yeah, a lawyer. A personality, know, a a personality test. A person, he had to take a Scientology right. test, right. and they let him uh, into <laughs> NYU, and then he became a lawyer. Um, because he's a real lawyer, and there's so many movies Ugh. that are about lawyers, so courtroom movies, dramas, dramas yeah. there's all kinds of stuff, and we thought... Don't know how accurate they're, they're all great. We thought, they're all great. They're all great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we thought we'd uh, dr- uh, gr- grill him yeah. uh, about what is uh, like actual law or where the movies are like taking a little liberty yeah. with mm-hmm. uh, reality. So uh, that's what we're about to watch. Oh, fantastic. Us uh, just uh, grilling them about that. So uh, what should we... Would you say uh, that you want the truth? Oh, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> what, what, would you, what do you think we should do? Oh, well, uh, Your Honor, if it pleases the court, I think we should approach the bench and roll it! Yeah! In Jagged Edge, starring Glenn Close and Jeff Bridges, a typewriter owned by Bridges character drops a particular letter. The same dropped letter in notes left by the movie's murderer. In the movie, this proves that Bridges is the killer. Is this admissible? Inadmissible. In body of evidence, Madonna is accused of murder and is acquitted by a jury based purely on her testimony and none of the other evidence in the trial. Is this admissible? Inadmissible. In Rules of Engagement, 
Sam Jackson's character is acquitted of murder when the star witness admits that had he been in the same situation, he would have done the same thing. Is this admissible? Inadmissible. In the exorcism of Emily Rose, a priest is found guilty of negligent homicide, but given no prison time because he genuinely seems to believe it was the unfortunate outcome of an exorcism gone wrong. Is this admissible? <laughs> I'm afraid that's inadmissible. Ah, strange. In North Country, during a sexual harassment case, Charlize Theron's character is brought into question by the defense by way of her promiscuous past. Is this admissible? Inadmissible. In From the Hip, the defense attorney, played by Judd Nelson, antagonizes his own client into confessing to murder while he is on the stand. Is this admissible? Completely inadmissible. In Shakedown, Peter Weller's defense attorney has an affair with the prosecuting attorney during a trial. Is this admissible? Completely inadmissible. <laughs> In class action, Gene Hackman's prosecutor is in a trial with his estranged daughter as the defense attorney. Is this admissible? Inadmissible. In I Am Sam, Sean Penn plays a mentally challenged single father who loses custody of his daughter due to his disability. Is Sean Penn playing a mentally challenged person admissible? Inadmissible. In Fracture. Ryan Gosling is accused of murder and acts as his own attorney. Are his abs admissible? Admissible. In Presumed Innocent, Harrison Ford is presumed innocent. Is this admissible? Admissible. Oh, the system works. <laughs> In Double Jeopardy, Ashley Judd is set up for murder. Later, it's revealed that she was set up by the victim himself, who is not actually dead at all. She tracks him down and kills him, saying that she can go ahead and kill him without repercussion because she can't be tried for the same crime twice. Is this admissible? That's inadmissible. Inadmissible, I say. Yeah, that whole movie's out of order. You drink a lot. Well, you know, I'm a lawyer. Tastes good. Also. Yeah, I do. There you go. You got a third one? Oh. No. Oh. The law isn't fair. Holy mackerel! Wow. That was eye-opening. So much of what I, they present in legal dramas is complete bullshit, it I sounds like. I learned so much. I learned a lot about, because I had no idea one, I'm happy that Ryan Gosling's abs are okay yeah. with the law. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, because if they if those were illegal, I mean, how many heartbroken people would there be yeah. in the world? And he would have to go on the run. Yeah, mm -hmm. he would have to go on the run with his abs. I mean, he would run really well because he's in good shape. Oh yeah, yeah. No, and he'd no. get hot and take his shirt off, and yeah. his illegal abs would look good, yeah. glistening in the sun. But uh, I'm Fla glad flaunting society's laws. Yeah, I mean, and I'm I, just I learned that uh, I learned that when people play themselves, often it, it doesn't go so well. <laughs> because you were you were playing yourself. That's what you're. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I now I empathize with all those terrible all those performances of people playing, playing themselves. themselves. Yeah, like yeah. Do what is the worst uh, self portrayal that you you can think of? Uh, drawing a blank right now because I'm playing myself. I uh, I would go with uh, Gary Busey and I am Busey. <laughs> oh, I'm with Busey. Rather. I haven't seen that one. But I'm that with Busey, like but he's candidate. not playing himself. He's it's a reality show <laughs> yeah. about a guy who's a Gary. Do you never yeah. watch that? You know, I did see Gary Busey play himself on Entourage, and he was pretty bad in that. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because they interviewed him recently about that, and he has no recollection <laughs> of being on Entourage. That's, that's actually kind of sad. <laughs> Well, see now you're getting into good it. for him though. See, now mean, you're trying why to. Why would you want to remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, well, I'm, I watched one episode of Entourage, and I wish I could forget it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I hope they're doing great at the box office. They're not. Uh, no, they're not. <laughs> it's tanking. Uh, I would like to thank Steve Skelton. Oh, well, thank you for being here. Steve yeah. always does a great job. And Thanks. He, thank he you. brings it. And, that's, you know, that's uh, really true. 
people pay lip service to that, but it's nice. That it's nice. Thanks, God. Yeah, Thank you, guys. It's like you. a good he, job, he, he, week in, week out. He, and he doesn't have to do it. He does it because because out of love, right? Out of love for the people uh, yeah, and yeah. the movies. Yeah, sh and yeah. Like no. us, maybe. Sure, sure. It's from the heart. Yeah, from the yeah, heart. from the heart. I'd like to thank uh, Steve Falk uh, mm -hmm. for uh, doing that rash judgment and for being a fun guy and uh, doing your other worst. Yeah, I am looking forward to season two on FXX. Uh, and I Don't would, watch it with your kids. I would yeah. like to thank uh, my brother John Anderson, yes. uh, Washington D.C. public defender, uh, for being here. John, do you have anything you want to plug? Are any big cases coming up? <laughs> <laughs> It's not really what it is. It's not really it's a not, thing. It's not <laughs> a thing. Really? You, you don't, don't plug, 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 plug cases? You don't plug a big case? Right. I mean, if I was here, you know, going out, I was going to hang out a shingle and go out on my own, I'd, you know, want to know if you'd been injured recently. <laughs> <laughs> Put up my 1 800 number, but uh, no. do you have you I got, been I got, exposed to asbestos? Yeah, actually, I think I have mesothelioma. So, do you have any? <laughs> are you the have guy you I talked to you about that? Have you been hurt in any way? <laughs> My, my brother physically? is the new Larry Parker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna fight for you. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, okay. So I you don't want to totally play be good at that. But you were in the papers in DC. I'm. <laughs> you were in the papers. <laughs> I, I, I'm sad though that I haven't been on billboards. So mm -hmm. yeah, we should get you on the billboards. We should get him a billboard. I need to switch my. Uh, he does serious things. I guess they don't plug that on the internet. Oh, yeah. Uh, but thank you, John, very much for being here. I've been your host, Todd Anderson. Uh, and until next time, the concession stand is closed due to health code violations. Is there anything you can do as yeah, a can lawyer to help us that? open up the concession uh, stand? Because they're piling up. There's like a, almost 150 it's violations. Just, I think violations. If, you, if you go to like CVS, they have like cockroach baits. Um, that's probably. Yeah, but those don't taste good.